Over the last 233 million years, the dinosaurs have ranked as the Earth's dominant land species, with some of the largest land predators to have ever existed being the megatheropods. Gigantic theropod dinosaurs exceeding 3 tons in weight and 9 meters in length, with members such as the T-Rex, Spinosaurus, and the Giganotosaurus. The megatheropods were the greatest apex predators of their time only going extinct in a cataclysmic asteroid event 65 million years ago. And when looking at the megatheropods, it is easy to forget the other giant predators that once walked the Earth. The Earth has seen its fair share of large, non-dinosaur predators, such as the Titanoboa, which could reach 42 feet and weigh upwards of a tonne, to the Antiosaurus, a dinocephalian synapsid reaching 20 feet and 600 kilos, or the Megalania, a recently extinct species of giant monitor lizard that roamed Australia growing up to 18 feet and 570 kilos. But only one can claim the title of the largest non-dinosaur terrestrial carnivore, and this was the Phasolosuchus. The Phasolosuchus was a massive four-legged carnivorous reptile, and was the apex predator of the late Jurassic period, living between 220 and 213 million years ago. The dinosaurs first emerged in the Carnian Age of the Late Jurassic, about 237 million years ago. However, it was the Ryosukians which were the apex predators of the time. Although the dinosaur's dominance was already beginning to show, with early sauropodomorphs already displacing herbivorous therapsids. The holotype of Phasolosuchus was discovered by Thomas H. Fasola during explorations in the Los Colorado Formation located in northwestern Argentina. The name Phasolosuchus, which means Phasolus crocodile, was named by J. F. Bonaparte in 1981 in honor of Thomas Fasola. The Phasolosuchus is classified as a Rysukian, a paraphyletic group of mostly four-legged Triassic reptilian carnivores. Rysukians, although reptiles, are not considered dinosaurs as they are placed into the Pseudosuchia clade, which contains modern crocodilians and other reptiles more closely related to crocodiles. Whilst the dinosaurs belong to the other Metasalia clade, which in today's world exists in modern birds. However, since 2010, the Rasukian group was reconsidered to be at Wastebaxit taxon or evolutionary grade, and many of its members have been placed into the Paracrocodilomorphia clade, which branches into the Loricata and Poposauridia lines. It is the Loricata group which the Phasolosuchus belongs to, and the line which eventually evolved into modern crocodiles, although an exact lineage cannot be described until more research is completed. The Poposauridia line contains more obscure reptiles such as Poposaurus and the sail-backed Lotosaurus. However, this group went completely extinct by the end of the late Triassic. The exact size of the Phasolosuchus is still under debate by paleontologists. However, current estimates put the Phasolosuchus between 23 to 33 feet and a potential weight of one ton to perhaps a ton and a half at higher estimates. This size puts the Phasolosuchus above the previous largest Rysukian, the Sorosuchus, which reached 18 to 23 feet and weighed 600 kilos. The Phasolosuchus was considerably larger than other predatory dinosaurs during the late Jurassic, such as Euroraptor, which reached 6 feet, and Herrerasaurus, reaching 20 feet. Although the Phasolosuchus is outsized by later megatheropods, such as the T-Rex and the Spinosaurus, it is still the largest non-dinosaur terrestrial carnivore to exist in terms of size, mass, and volume. The main weapon of the Phasolosuchus was undoubtedly its front jaw and mouth full of long teeth, which would be used to deliver a deep bite into its prey. We can better understand the power behind this bite by inferring from a 2023 study which analysed the functional morphology of the Sorosuchus. Inferring from this study, we find that the Phasolosuchus had a relatively weak bite, weaker than today's crocodiles and poorly suited to crunching bone. 
The paper compared their analysis with a relative Allosaurus specimen and found that the Allosaurus had almost twice the bite force as a Saurosuchus in both the interior and posterior regions of the mouth. This weaker bite force is produced in combination from the wider jaw morphology which spreads out the bite over a wider area and a fragile nasal region. This limitation on biting strength is a stark contrast to today's saltwater crocodiles, which have robust nasal snouts and more triangular-shaped jaws ideal for crunching through bone. In terms of armour, the Fasolosuchus had a single row of osteoderms, bony deposits that form scales or plates along the skin of the animal, most commonly found in reptiles but also in some mammals such as the armadillos. With only a single row of osteoderms, Fasolosuchus had relatively weaker armour compared to other Rasukians, such as Postosuchus, which is known for having multiple layers of osteoderms. However, the lack of armour could indicate a lack of competition from other predators, removing the need for added protection. We can begin to understand the hunting behaviour of Fasolosuchus by analysing its body structure and bite force. The body structure of Fasolosuchus, like other Rasukians, had a pillar erect stance, in which which their legs are vertically orientated beneath the body. This is similar to the dinosaurs. However, in dinosaurs, the hip socket faces outwards, whilst in Rasukians, the hip socket faces downwards. This pillar erect posture is unlike today's crocodiles and other lizards, which have a sprawling stance with their legs bending to the sides. This body posture implies a land-based movement style, with greater adaption for walking and sprinting, indicating that Fasolosuchus would stalk and hunt its prey on land. In the Los Colorado Formation, Fasolosuchus would likely hunt various synapsids such as Chacalaria, which could grow to 9.8 feet and 300 kilos, and Riojosaurus, a herbivorous sauropodomorph growing to 22 feet and 800 kilos. Fasolosuchus lived alongside Lesimosaurus, a sauropod dinosaur reaching 33 feet and weighing up to 7 tons. However, it is unlikely that Fasolosuchus could hunt an adult member of the sauropod species due to its weak bite force and, and elongated teeth, which are poorly adapted to biting large targets. Another poor adaption is the consumption of available meat from a carcass during feeding. The research paper which analysed the morphology of Saurosuchus also analysed its potential feeding behaviour. They hypothesised that Saurosuchus would actively avoid bone during defleshing of a carcass, consuming only softer flesh and leaving behind significant waste in the carcass. This feeding style would likely be similar for the Fasolosuchus, which would consume soft body organs and flesh before moving on to its next prey, leaving a considerable waste behind. The Fasolosuchus reigned as the apex predator of its environment in the late Jurassic, However, this apex predator went extinct during the Norian Age. The exact cause for this extinction is unclear, however a possible change in the prey food source could explain this carnivore's extinction, as the more robust synapsids gave way to more agile dinosaurs, which were too fast for the slower Fasolosuchus to hunt. Although by the beginning of the early Jurassic, nearly all Loricata reptiles had gone extinct, with an unspecified member surviving to become today's modern crocodiles, whilst the Poposauridae line went completely extinct by the early Jurassic, likely unable to compete with carnivorous theropod dinosaurs, which is unfortunate considering their unique appearance. If you made it this far, then drop a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below on how you think Fasilosuchus might have lived, but until then, I hope to see you in the next video.